the state of Mississippi. Let me dovetail into this and get it out of the way. As far as the flag itself, do you think there's enough um, movement in the House and or Senate to, to at least to consider this? I would be surprised if there are adequate number of votes. There's an awful lot of people who ran for office in 2019, myself included, uh, who told the people of our state that uh, they believe and in, in that the only way in which the flag should change is if the people of Mississippi decide to change it. And and the reason that's important to me, Paul, is not only do I think that it's important that, that elected officials and politicians keep their word, I think you ought to tell the voters what you're going to do and then go do it, but even more importantly than that, I firmly believe that the people of Mississippi at some point uh, may want to change the flag. But when they do so, uh, everyone is going to have to move on. We're going to have to come back together as a state. Mm-hmm. And the only way that that can happen, in my opinion, is if the people decide to do it. If it's considered to be a backroom deal by politicians in Jackson, I don't think the state's going to come back together in any short order. And and I really don't think in the long term that's a good thing for, for Mississippi. You, are you not worried about, because it is now more of a spotlight than it's ever been before, and, and I, I can't see it going down. It's going to get even worse. Uh, some economic effects uh, on the on the people in, in the state is if that happens, it's going to fall back on the legislature. I, I'm worried about a lot of things, Paul. Um, I, I think that there's no doubt that the um, what's happened in the, in the last several weeks has, has certainly raised the profile, and it's something that we as a state need to need to continue to work on and figure out. I just don't think that an immediate change. Uh, by politicians in Jackson is the right long-term solution for Mississippi. If you should get some um, a group of uh, people from the Nissans and the Toyotas and uh, maybe the Ingalls and other big uh, corporations in the state uh, suggest that it needs to be changed, what happens then? Well, they've already suggested that. The, the, the I know where they stand. Uh, the, the They know where um, where I stand. I know where they stand, and and I know where the people stand. And so, but I think it's an issue that we've got to continue to work on. I think that um, I certainly believe that there are a lot of people who voted one way in two thousand and one that would probably vote differently now. Uh, the question is, uh, what does Do that look enough? like? Yeah, yeah. What is the number? And and I think that's something we've got to continue to look at and monitor and and and, um, and work. So you would agree that we're moving that way. It's just uh, maybe not not fast enough. Well, I, I, what I would say is that there, there are people who have um, who voted in 2001 a certain way. Mm-hmm. But I'll tell you, Paul, as I traveled around the state last year, and this was a, a hot topic and one that we discussed regularly, you know, you've got a, a group of people that, that definitely want to uh, maintain the, the status quo, but you also have an awful lot of people in Mississippi that just really don't want to be told what to do by outsiders. Mm-hmm. That's why I think it's so important that the people – come to the conclusion that we as Mississippians come together as a state, we come together as a family, and we make that decision, and then we move on. I don't think that a small cadre of of individuals in in Jackson making that decision is going to be the best. 